So the next step will be installing any web server to render our web content. In this case, we, it can be Apache web server or WAMP. One of both will be okay. So let, let's just down, try to download Apache web server in our case. Very simple, we go to the Apache website and we download. Unfortunately, the version 2.4.6 it still does not bring any any installation for Windows, but in the, in our case we can download uh, any lower version. In this case, we will download uh, Win32 OpenSSL. We get the installer, which is wonderful, so we don't have to configure so many things. So once once it's ready, we proceed with the execution. Set Apache HTTP server. You can you need to read this first in order to know the license and the terms of condition. So network domain. I don't know in case that you have something. I will just write local and the server name local. Host. So the administrator or whatever. This is this is just a simple test. For all users recommended, this is set as port in the port 80 recommended. So this is what we will use. We can use a typical or a custom in case that you are more advanced, but in this case we don't need to. So, and we proceed with the installation. That's all. It is ready. So now. We have it in our local disk program files, Apache Software Foundation, Apache 2.0. So this means that if we type localhost, we already will have Apache working in our machine. So the next step will be the configuration folder. HTTP. Here we can find everything related to all the modules, static loads, everything. So at the end of this file, we will always find where to include our virtual hosts. This is what we have to edit this file, but we need to include this file. So we uncomment this line and we just save it and go then to extra folder and open the virtual host. So this file, virtual hosts, here we will define our host. In our case, we will comment for this stuff here. And we will include our own configuration at the end of this file. This is okay, we no normally in case that you are advanced, then you, you go ahead and configure this a little bit more. But in my case, it's just an explanation how to how this works. So we need first of all a virtual host. Let me quickly go on to it. We will configure our own virtual host. Listening on the port 80, it doesn't it can accept any IP connections, and we will share on it a folder. This folder will be document. Inside the document folder, we will create our own double 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 folder. And this folder will have all our web content. For example, imagine that we have our JWebSocket socket client, whatever, and more and more things, MySQL. So now we need to allow this host this folder in this configuration. So we will copy this URL to check that it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. So we will not copy user document. So now we save this file, close here, and we need to restart the server. So we can directly run the command or type here services. Go to the Windows server. 
and we restart our set just like that restart and it will automatically load this configuration folder so let's see our local how it already works of course you will have a forbidden error because we haven't configured our folder so we already included the virtual host but we didn't load the folder so we need to open the extra folder and include in our virtual host our folder so that we say that we will have grant access to this folder dot, 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 dot. The follow follow links in case that we have some smile links inside it Sim, similar sim links so we say this folder will be allowed from all and uh, that the main directory the, from the directory the main file to be loaded is an index.html and that's all allow override now this is some specific configuration that you can read more about it on Apache documentation so we save this and we start the server again and then when it is complete we go to our local host again and we open so this means that our server is already configured so that, that was all about Apache configuration in case that you want to install uh, as we mentioned in our presentation in case that you want to install WAMP of course you can go ahead and do it it's very simple you can do it in our, the WAMP website and it will show you here an identification of the service that are running uh, an agent here but in this case we just configure something simple Apache so everything is already finished so we now have our server running in our local host thank you for watching